Hey guys, happy holidays and welcome back to my channel. This is a collaboration with the wonderful, the beautiful, the lovely Efi. So here she is looking all gorgeous and make sure you check out her video as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna first start off with the Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm gonna go in with the color, I believe it's called Roxanne, but it's a really pretty warm brown, like a warm caramel brown color. And I'm using that in my crease just as a transition shade for the next colors that I'm gonna be using. Um, the Morphe palette so far has been really nice. I was pretty surprised at the quality. Next, I'm going in with the color Chip and Soda Pop. I kind of just mix the two together to get a really dark brown and using that in my crease. And then just kind of blending that in with the previous color that I used before and just kind of making it transition a little bit better. I'm also using the same color on the outer corners of my eye. Next, I'm going in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Fawn and using that to cut out my crease. So I'm using the concealer to carve out my crease and then going and blending in with that dark brown color on the outside of my eyelid. And then I'm going in with this gorgeous shade. This is called Diva from the Jaclyn Hill palette. It's a really pretty emerald green color and using that exactly in the same place that I use my concealer. In the palette, um, honestly the green and the warm orangey browns are my favorite colors. Next I'm going in with my Urban Decay Waterproof Eyeliner and this is the Perversion Liner Pen. I prefer using pens for my eyeliner because I feel like they're just a million times easier. And the Urban Decay Liner is definitely one of my top three liners. Next, I'm taking my Tarte Rose Gold Eyeliner, and I got this um, about a year or so ago. I'm not sure if they still sell this exact color, but you could always use any other liner that you have at the moment. Um, this is just something I wanted to do to give it more sparkle, but it does look really pretty without this Rose Gold Eyeliner. Um, you, you honestly can put any color eyeliner here and it will look good. Next, I'm taking the color called Sissy and using that in my inner corner. And then after that, I'm going in with my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color orange. Please forgive me because for some reason, I always forget to put on lotion before I make videos and I always look ashy and dusty, but you know what? We're gonna look past that right now, okay? Um, we're just gonna go ahead and blend out that LA Girl Pro Conceal. And then I'm going in with my LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation. It is an HD foundation, super pretty. Um, looks amazing on camera and it's only like seven bucks. So one of my favorite foundations at the moment definitely and the color matches pretty dang good if I do say so myself. Next I'm going in with my NARS concealer. I'm using the color Amande first. And then I'm going in with the color Chestnut to give myself a little bit more brightness and a little bit more of a highlight. And yeah, while I was filming this, I was also listening to the lovely Efi's Chit Chat Get Ready With Me. And she's super funny. Like, I'll show you a clip in a second, but she is so funny. Anytime I mess up, y'all, y'all gonna hear me talk about it. Because we all need to hold ourselves accountable to things, okay? We are all... Fuck ups. I don't care who you are watching this. You are a fuck up. But make that make you feel good, okay? It's okay to be a fuck up. It is okay. I'm a fuck up. You're a fuck up. Your whole damn family a fuck up. My family a fuck up. We all fucking up. This life just ain't fucking up every day, okay? If you think you ain't fucking up in some type of way, you ain't right. growing. You ain't learning. 
We ain't doing that wrong, girl. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that was Efi preaching some wisdom for you girls, like wisdom. I totally related to that vlog, and, um, by the way. Anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and um, blend out that concealer. Like I said before, I'm using NARS. The first color is called Amande, the second color is called Chestnut. And going in with my e.l.f. blending brush to blend that out. And then I'm going in with my Makeup Forever HD Foundation Stick. The only reason I'm using this as a contour is because I want to use it because that stuff is expensive but it looks too dark for my overall face right now so I just use it as a contour color. Getting the most bang out of this book because that was like $40 I think and it's just not going to sit in my closet until next year. Like this is not, I'm going I'm to use it. It's going to get used, okay? Then I'm going in with my uh, Laura Mercier setting powder. Oh my god, I am so ashy. I'm so sorry. <laughs> going in with my Laura Mercier setting powder and setting my face. I kind of liked how dewy my face looked, but I ended up um, setting it anyway. And then I'm going in with my Ruby Kisses Cream Contour um, Palette, my face cream. I think it's called the 3D Face Creator. And going in with the darkest shade and darkening up that contour because your girl, them cheeks coming in from those holiday meals, uh, you see, yeah. Anyway, going back in with my NYX Fire Palette and using that dark maroon color on the bottom of my eyelid and doing the same thing on the other side of my eye. And then I'm going in with my Alkaline Liner from Urban Decay. And also using the same maroon I use underneath my eye as kind of like a blush slash contour color. And then I'm taking my NARS Corella Velvet Matte Lipstick Pencil and using that on my lips. Um, I like this color a lot. I don't know why I thought I needed to darken it. I kind of liked it better when it was more of a bolder, brighter red. But that is about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you check out the lovely Efi's channel and her video because she did an amazing job. It looks gorgeous. And yeah, I mean overall she's just a great person. So you should check out her channel anyway. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Happy holidays. Let me know what you guys are doing for holiday season. What are you doing? What are you up to? Let me know. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.